ए क्यूब हैज साइड्स ऑफ लेंथ एल इज इक्वल जीरो पॉइंट थ्री मीटर इट इज प्लेसड विथ वन कॉर्नर एट द ऑरिजन एज शोन इन फिगर द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज नॉट यूनिफॉर्म बट इज गिवन बाई ई इज इक्वल माइनस फाइव न्यूटन पर कुलुम्ब मीटर इंटू एक्स आई बार प्लस थ्री न्यूटन पर कुलुम्ब मीटर इंटू जेड के बार ए फाइंड द इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स थ्रू ईच ऑफ द सिक्स क्यूब फेसस एस वन कम एस टू कम एस थ्री कम एस फोर कम एस फाइव एंड एस सिक्स बी फाइंड द टोटल इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज इन सैड द क्यूब फ्रम द गिवेन वैल्यूस द लेंथ एल इज इक्वल एल इज इक्वल जीरो पॉइंट थ्री मीटर्स एंड द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ई बार इज इक्वल माइनस फाइव न्यूटन पर कुलुम्ब मीटर इंटू एक्स ई बार प्लस थ्री न्यूटन पर कुलुम्ब मीटर इंटू जेड के बार दिस इज द नॉन यूनिफॉर्म इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड वी कैन कैलकुलेट एट द द इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स एट द ईच सर्फेस सो द इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स फाइव इज इक्वल E bar dot A bar, where E is the electric field and A is the area of the surface. So, the electric flux phi is equal to E A n cap, where n cap is the unit normal vector. So, where n cap is the unit normal vector. so the area of the face a is equal to the surface area or area of the face is equal to l square a is equal to where l is the 0.3 meter so 0.3 meter whole square the area of the face a is equal to 0.09 meter square so this is the area of the surface first of all we can calculate the the electric flux at the surface one this is the surface one or left side of the cube let us draw the surface one let us draw the surface one this is the left side of the cube so let us take this is the x axis and this is the y axis and this is the z axis so let us draw the left side of the cube surface 1 so this is the left side of the cube this is the surface one this is the surface one or left side of the cube so this is the surface let us take the surface this is the surface the unit normal vector or the unit area normal vector is perpendicular to the surface so the direction of the unit area normal vector along the thumb direction so the direction of the thumb is indicates the unit area normal vector of the surface s1 so the direction of the area unit normal vector along the negative y direction this is the n cap s1 n cap s1 so the n cap s1 along the negative y axis so n cap s1 is equal to n cap s1 is equal to minus j bar so the electric flux at the surface s1 is the phi1 phi1 is equal to e a n cap s1 
so phi 1 is equal to the electric field is the minus 5 newton per coulomb meter into x i bar plus 3 newton per coulomb meter into z k bar this is the electric field dot the area is the 0 0.09 meter square into along the n cap is the minus j bar so the dot dot product of the so the dot product of the two vectors is phi 1 is equal to i bar dot j bar is equal to 0 plus and the second one is k bar dot j bar is equal to 0 so the electric flux at the surface s1 is the phi 1 phi 1 is equal to 0 this is the electric flux and consider the surface s2 or top of the cube consider the surface s2 consider the surface s2 draw the surface s2 let us draw the surface s2 the surface s2 is the top of the cube this is the surface s2 this is the surface s2 is the top of the cube so the surface s2 we can draw the unit normal vector with the surface s2 this is the surface s2 the surface s2 is the top of the cube so this is the let us take the surface s2 this is the surface s2 the unit normal vector is perpendicular to the surface so the comb direction is indicated the unit normal vector of the surface s2 so the direction of the unit normal vector is parallel to the z axis so this is the n cap s2 the direction of the unit normal vector along the positive z direction so the n cap s2 is taken the n cap s2 is equal to k bar the n cap s2 is equal to k bar so the electric flux at the surface s2 or top of the cube phi 2 is equal to e a n cap s2 so the electric field is the minus 5 newton per coulomb meter into x i bar plus 3 newton per coulomb meter into z k bar this is the electric field dot the area of the surface is the 0 0.09 meter square into the unit normal vector direction is the along the positive z axis so k bar so the electric flux at the surface s2 is equal to phi 2 the dot product of the vectors is i bar dot k bar is equal to 0 so that is equal to 0 plus k bar dot k bar is equal to 1 so 3 newton per coulomb meter into z into 0 0.09 meter square so phi 2 is equal to 0 0.27 newton meter per coulomb into z newton meter coulomb into z so the electric flux at the surface s2 is equal to the value of the z is the one side length of the cube so z is equal to the side length of the cube along the this is the z the length of the cube is l so where 
z is equal to l. So, the electric flux at the surface S2 is equal to the value is the 0 0.27 Newton meter per coulomb into the length z is equal to L. So, 0 0.3 meter. So, the electric flux at the surface S2 is phi 2, phi 2 is equal to 0 0.081 Newton meter square per coulomb. This is the flux through the surface S2 or top of the cube and consider the surface S3, consider the surface S3, the surface S3 is the right side of the cube. So, this is the right side of the cube, we can draw the surface S2, S3, we can draw the surface S3, this is the surface S3, we can draw the surface S3, the surface S3 is the right side of the cube, this is the surface S3, the surface S3 is the right side of the cube. So, this is the surface S3. The unit normal vector of the surface S3 is the, this is the surface S3, the unit normal vector of the surface S3 is the direction of the thumb. So, this is the perpendicular to the surface, the unit normal vector is perpendicular to the surface S3. So, the direction of the unit normal vector along the positive y direction. So, this is the surf, the unit normal vector direction is the this direction positive y direction. This is the n cap S3. So, the direction of the unit normal vector along the positive y direction. So, n cap S3 is equal to n cap S3 is equal to plus j bar. So, the electric flux at the surface S3 is the phi 3, phi 3 is equal to E A n cap S3. So, the electric field is the minus 5 Newton per coulomb meter into x i bar plus 3 Newton per coulomb meter into z k bar dot the area is the 0 0.09 meter square into the direction of the unit normal vector is the plus j direction. So, phi 3 is equal to the dot product of the two vectors i bar dot j bar is equal to 0 plus k bar dot j bar is equal to 0. So, the electric flux at the surface S3 is phi 3 is equal to 0. So, we can draw the another surface. Let us surface S4. The surface S4 is the the surface S4 is the bottom of the bottom of the surface bottom of the cube. This is the surface S4. The S4, the unit normal vector of the surface S4 is the, this is the surface S4. The unit normal vector is the perpendicular to the surface S4. So, the direction of the thumb is indicates the unit normal vector. This is the direction towards the downwards, towards the downwards the thumb direction is towards the downwards. This is the, the unit normal vector at the surface S4 is the downwards direction of the cube. This is the n cap S4. So, the unit normal vector along the negative z direction. This is the negative z direction. So, consider the surface S4, the unit normal vector n cap S4 is equal to minus k bar. The electric flux at the surface S4 is phi 4. 
phi 4 is equal to E A n cap S 4. So, the electric field is minus 5 Newton per Coulomb meter into x i bar plus 3 Newton per Coulomb meter into z k bar. This is the electric field dot. The area is the 0 0.09 meter square into the unit normal vector at the surface S4 is the minus k bar. So, phi 4 is equal to the dot product of the two vectors is the i bar dot k bar is equal to 0 plus k bar dot k bar is equal to 1. So, k bar dot minus k bar is equal to minus 1. So, that is equal to minus of 3 into 0 0.90 is equal to 0 0.27 Newton meter per Coulomb into Z where Z is the one cube length of the one side length of the cube. So, in this case the surface S4 or downward of the cube the length is z is equal to 0 because the cube is placed at the only positive z direction. We have no the negative z. So, z is equal to 0 at the bottom of the cube. So, z is equal to 0. So, in this case the flux phi 4 is equal to 0 into minus 0 0.27 Newton meter per Coulomb into 0, phi 4 is equal to 0. This is the, the electric flux at the surface, bottom of the surface or surface S4. We can calculate at the surface S5. This is the S5. The S5 is the, this is the the surface this is the surface s5 the surface s5 this is the surface s5 the direct this is the surface s5 this is the, the surface this is surface is indicates the surface s5 or face so the electric flux at the surface is the direct this is the surface this is the surface s5 the unit normal vector is perpendicular to the surface. So, the direction of the unit normal vector is the perpendicular to the surfaces. So, the direction is indicated the positive x direction. This is the positive x direction. This is the n cap S5. The surface is indicated as a positive x direction. So, this is the surface S5. So, the direction indicates the n cap S5 is equal to i bar. The surface S5 along the direction of the x axis. So, n cap S5 is equal to i bar. The electric flux at the surface phi, phi is equal to the electric field E A n cap s5 so the electric field is the 5 newton per coulomb meter into x i bar plus 3 newton per coulomb meter into z k bar dot the area vector is the 0 0.09 meter square into the n cap S5 is the i bar. So, phi S5, phi 5 is equal to 
the dot product of the two vectors so i bar dot i bar is equal to 1 so minus 5 newton per coulomb into coulomb meter into x into the area vector is the 0 0.09 meter square plus k bar dot i bar is equal to 0 so 5 5 5 is equal to 0 point minus minus 0 point 4 5 Newton meter per Coulomb into X where X is the x is the unit normal vector where x is the one side length of the cube so the side length of the cube is where x is the one side length of the cube so in this case where x is equal to one side length of the cube x is equal to l so five five is equal to minus 0 0.45 into zero point four five newton meter square per coulomb into the side length is the zero point three meters so five five is equal to minus five five is equal to minus zero point one three five newton meter square per coulomb newton meter square per coulomb this is the electric flux at the surface phi and consider the surface s yes, six this is the outside of the cube this is the outside of the cube this side cube is indicated the surface so the direction is this is the this direction this is the n cap s6 n cap s6 so the direction of the n cap s6 this is the this is the surface 6 so the direction of the now unit normal vector is perpendicular to the surface so the direction is taken the negative x direction so the surface n cap the surface n cap s 6 is equal to minus i bar so the electric flux at the surface phi 6 is equal to the electric field e a n cap s 6 so the electric field is the minus 5 newton per coulomb meter into x i bar plus 3 newton per coulomb meter into z k bar dot the unit area vector is the 0 0.09 meter square into the unit normal vector n cap s 6 is the minus i bar so in this case the electric flux at the surface s 6 is the phi 6 the dot product of the vector is the i bar dot i bar is equal to 1 so minus into minus plus in this case 5 newton per coulomb meter into x into 0 0.09 meter square so phi 6 is equal to 0 0.45 newton meter per coulomb into x so 
in this case the length of the x the length of the x x is equal to 0 because the cube is placed at the only pause to x axis only so in this negative x axis x is equal to 0 so the electric flux at this case phi 6 is equal to 0 0.45 newton meter per coulomb into 0 the flux phi 6 is equal to 0 at the surface s 6 this is the flux at the surface x 6 we can calculate the part b we can calculate the part b the electric the total flux in the cube is phi is equal to we can calculate the part b the part b is the the total electric charge in the inside the cube so the according to the gauss law the flux phi is equal to the charge enclosed surface q by epsilon naught from this equation the charge inclined the surface q is equal to the charge inclined the surface q is equal to epsilon naught phi so where phi is the total flux of the surface the total flux phi is equal to phi 1 plus phi 2 plus phi 3 plus phi 4 plus phi 5 plus phi 6 this is the the sum of the each the flux through the each phase the sum of the flux through the each phase so in this case the total flux phi is equal to in this case the total flux phi is equal to phi 1 is 0 plus phi 2 phi 2 is the 0 0.081 newton meter square per coulomb plus phi 3 phi 3 is the 0 plus phi 4 phi 4 is the 0 five 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 is the minus zero point one three five newton meter square per coulomb plus five six is the zero the total flux in the surface is the phi is equal to the total flux in the surface phi is equal to minus zero point zero five four newton meter square per coulomb this is the flux through the surface we can calculate the the charge inclined in the inside the cube q is equal to q is equal to epsilon naught phi so the value of the epsilon is the eight point eight five 4 into 10 to the power of minus 12 coulomb square by newton meter square into the total flux is the minus of 0 0.054 newton meter square per coulomb so the charge inclined the surface is equal to minus 4.78 into 10 to the power of minus 13 coulomb so this is the charge inside the cube of the the charge in the inclined charge inside the cube so the negative indicates the the electric field the flux through the inside the cube is taken the negative and the flux through the out of the surface is taken the positive so the total charge inclined the inside of the cube is minus 
फोर पॉइंट सेवन एट इंटू टेन टू द पवर ऑफ माइनस थर्टीन कुलूम